Hey, this is Johnny with Blank TV, and we're here with two of the members from Bless the Fall. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with these guys, they are... I'm Jared. That's Matt. I'm Matt. So, we've got some questions for you. Uh, how's the Hollow Bodies tour so far? How's it been for you guys? It's been awesome. Like, amazing turnouts. Like, all the fans are, like, super supportive of the album and everything. They're singing along. So, oh, it's yeah. kind of, like, humbling to see that. Right. All, the, all the bands on the tour are super fun great friends so we're having a great time out here hey, hey, have you toured with um any of these bands before we've actually toured with silverstein a bunch before um kind of learned a lot from them they're kind of like our mentors basically went over to europe with them oh, and learned a lot it's awesome that's awesome um do you have a favorite city to play in favorite city i've always liked chicago like kids are awesome out there the city is really cool to explore right yeah, chicago is usually one of the number ones not Baltimore. Well, I love Baltimore. Last time we played here is <laughs> what December with August Burns Red, which was probably one of my favorites on the tour too. Yeah, I saw I saw you guys. You guys killed it there. It was fun. It's awesome. What What are one of the things you guys look forward to most when getting off of tour? Getting off of tour. Just enjoying time home. Just family and friends. Dogs. Yeah. Punch dogs. Punch dogs. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you guys have a favorite song to play live off of Hollow Bodies? Mine's probably Young Bloods because it's super energetic. All the kids go crazy. It's fun. For this tour, I it was originally uh, Exodus. I just like starting the setup, but um, the song "You Wear a Crown But You're No King" has had such an explosive um, reaction. I'm really enjoying playing that song because everyone's just like, "What?" Everybody gets to shout the lyrics with yeah, it. Awesome. It gets pretty crazy. This question is for Jared. If you had to choose between playing bass and screaming, which would you choose? Probably screaming. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just something different. Right. Not everybody can do it, everybody can do bass. You guys released a video for the song, I believe it was in March, and that was that was nuts. I mean, like whose idea was was it to do all that green screen green? It was screen actually stuff? the the video for uh, Daniel Davison. He used to play drums in Norma Jean and he's just a genius behind the camera, like he had like all the cameras set up for it and we just we we saw his like treatment for it and it just came out that way. It's weren't expecting. What are some of your guys' inspirations behind the music you guys wrote on the album? I've always loved Linkin Park. Like, Chester is my favorite screamer of all time, so it's kind of influenced me to screaming. And I just always wanted to play, like, heavy rock music because of that. Right. Yeah, they're, I'm not sure about the new stuff, though. They're, they're getting I like it all. I think it's <laughs> all amazing. They have, like, all that ambient music and, like, all, like, the cool instrumentals and stuff. Right, yeah, they're all evolving, so. What is the writing process like? Like, how do you get an idea to a song? Do you start with, like, drums and then, you know, throw in, like, lyrics? Or Normally, like, lyrics? Eric and uh, Elliot, like, kind of sit down together and write some of, like, the guitar riffs and, like, get, like, the foundation of the song together and they kind of, like, program drums here and there and then they bring Matt in and be like, well, like, what should we do here? And then add his drums, add my bass, and then I sit down with Elliot and Bo and we kind of, like, write, like, vocal patterns and stuff. And he, uh, Bo writes all the lyrics pretty much. And then vocals are kind of come last. Yeah, it's really the final song at first. If you could play any other instrument, what would it be? I've always loved piano. I, I have a keyboard at home and I always kind of jam out and stuff and make cool little beats and stuff with it. It's definitely guitar because I don't know how to do it. You just hit stuff and go. I just hit things. <laughs> got some fan questions. Um, let's see, from Lee Jacobs. Do you like Pokemon? And what's your favorite Pokemon? Scyther. Charizard. Good choices. Good choices. This one's from Carrie. Uh, what is the weirdest gift, request, or experience that you've ever gotten from a fan? This is the one that always sticks out in my mind. A dude hit me up uh, in a mall and he was like, oh, you know, I love Blessed Fall, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for everything that you do for me while you're on stage. Now let me do something for you. And he started breakdancing in the middle of the mall, <laughs> spinning on his head. And I was just like, Looking around, I was like, what the heck? That was, I mean, it's pretty cool. That's nuts. This is from Canyon Wainwright. Where was your best performance on the Hollow Body store so far? Ooh, that's a good question. They've all been awesome so far. Um, Fort Lauderdale was awesome. There was one where we all walked off stage and we were just like, yes. Houston, probably? Maybe it was Houston. Houston was incredible. It was an unexpected turnout for us. Like, kind of always, I like weird shows in Houston. This turned out to be amazing. Awesome. We're still pretty early in the tour. I think this is day like 14 or something. Mm -hmm. right. well, Tonight's I mean, going to be awesome. Yeah, I was going to say, tonight's <laughs> going to be the number yeah. one. Like, yeah, it's going to be the I'm best. I'm going to play a game. This one's called Fuck One, Marry One, Kill One. <laughs> oh. 
and uh, your choices are Gilbert Godfrey, Elliot, and the Chipotle burrito. I would definitely fuck the burrito. Fuck the burrito. I have I'd marry Elliot. He's marry like, uh, and kill I can't Godfrey. stand his voice. Yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> he's killing me. <laughs> Alright, um, uh, Yago or the bird from Elliot? Yep, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a yeah. <laughs> Um. This, this is called This or That, it's just quick questions, you gotta choose between Justice League or The Avengers? Avengers. Avengers. The Walking Dead or Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones. I haven't really watched Game of Thrones yet, so... You're missing out, dude. Uh, I, I, I know. <laughs> yeah, you watch it on the bus, and I'm just... It's so good. I have to go sit in my bunk and not watch it. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've literally watched what happened last episode with the Kings. That just, like, ruins the whole thing. And I was dude, like, what are you doing? Doing? I've seen the first two episodes, and I, I immediately hated him, <laughs> so now I know what happened. It's worth it just watching. Took, uh, Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus. Why like it? This is it. from Drew Miles. Pits or crowd surfing? Like which kids you guys want more? Uh, dang. I always like watching the pit. It's kind of hard for him to see it because he's in the back. But yeah, true. so crowd surfing makes <laughs> me. I see them coming up. It's so dark. Uh, Star Wars or Star Trek? Star, Star Wars. Wars. Awesome. Sith or Jedi? Sith. Sith. <laughs> All right, this one's kind of weird. Fist fighting or gorilla, <laughs> or drinking each other's sweat after a show? Oh. <laughs> I think mean, animals are probably drinking sweat. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I get my ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> all right, if you guys had to change your band name to something that sums you guys all up, what would it be? Laughing for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> that should be your next album name. <laughs> Who in the band would die first in a zombie apocalypse? Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> that leads us to our next question. Is Elliot really forever alone? Yes. Yes. <laughs> if you had to give each band member uh, a family role, like sketchy uncle, like annoying brothers, like who would be who? Oh man, I'd probably be the sketchy uncle. <laughs> <laughs> it's the beard. Yeah. I'd be the obnoxious uncle. You'd be the party uncle. The party that would turn obnoxious. Uh, the one that gives, would be the responsible. Just buying the younger one's beer. Yeah, I would. It was like the dad. Do you guys have any random superpowers or talents that not many people have? I wish. I wish I could fly. <laughs> you can fart plane. I can't hear it. I have. You should do that on stage. Best parts. <laughs> I finish this up with just one or two more questions. Favorite tour memory? It's always so hard. It's so hard. There's so many tours and they all have awesome memories in them. But I mean, I guess the first thing that popped into my mind was being on Taste of Chaos with the bench, the tree, and the toilet. I can even imagine. It's pretty wild. It was Manila, right? That we played at a huge festival? That was Manila? Manila. Yeah. It was like 30,000. 30,000 people. <laughs> That's insane. Last question. Um, when everybody's finished listening to Hollow Bodies, what's something you guys want them to take away from that album? Whether it's like music or inspiration? Um. Well, take away inspiration for whatever is going on in their lives. It's, if it's inspiration for them to write a book or maybe start a band, that, or just to take away that they enjoyed every single song on the album from front to back and just want to buy another most of all in the future. Just, yeah, especially really like listen to lyrics, like if it touches your life, like hopefully it helps you guys like, in any single way possible. That's awesome. Yeah. This has been Bless the Fall. I'm Johnny from Blank TV and Listen for the Light. Thanks for watching. Hey, yo. What's up? This is Matt. Jared from Bless the Fall. And, and you're watching, watching Blank TV. TV. Dangerous, dangerous music for dangerous, dangerous people. people.